How's it going, DC? Y'all doing all right today on this uh, lovely Thursday afternoon? Well, lunchtime, lunchtime. I hope y'all aren't sitting there uh, thinking about food. You got full bellies. I've got a lot on my mind today, but I am so honored and thankful to have this opportunity to stand on the stage here in the Coolidge Auditorium in the Library of Congress. What an honor for a, uh, a little Indian girl from Robinson County who grew up and still lives down that, that good old dirt road down Helen Drive in the swamps of southeastern North Carolina is where I'm from, born and raised in the Lumbee and Tuscarora communities. People down in, in what I consider to be a Mecca of the South, an old Mecca, if you will when we think about the founding of the country and the relationship with the forefathers and indigenous peoples, we had a lot of people that made the area that is now known as Robinson County their home. Indigenous peoples who at the time, and when I say at the time, I'm going back to like the 17, 1800s. Uh, people who identify as Tuscarora, our people, we have lineages and people still living there who claim Sharal ancestry as well. And those are our roots, but today we make up the modern Lumbee Nation who we uh, received our, our name and our federal recognition without all of the full benefits from the federal government back in 1956. And so I stand up here today as a, a product of the resistance of those people who fought off colonization uh, for many years. And we, we still have the culture and the bloodlines there in Pembroke and Lumberton and, and the Mecca where our indigenous peoples were. A lot of freed and runaway slaves ended up in that area and called it home as well as some of the poorer whites and settlers also found themselves there. And we've built a community and there's no place like it, no other place like it in the world. And so I am here and honored and stand here filled with pride to say that we've survived and that we're carving we have carved our own path in society, in today's society, where as, as it's, it's a proverb that I grew up knowing, we walk in two worlds, where we still hold on to our traditions while trying to navigate in today's society. And this next song that I want, want to sing is a song called I Don't Know More. The song that I just sang was called My People, My Land, and both of these songs were written by Pura Fey, who was mentioned in my bio. And she's had a huge influence on my career as an artist and as an indigenous woman. I met her when I was 12 years old, and she came to Pembroke. She's a uh, half Tuscarora and Taino. Her Tuscarora roots are from Sampson County, North Carolina. But she came down to Robinson County and taught our culture classes. And she taught us songs in traditional language as well as contemporary songs that she had written. And those songs that she sang in traditional language, she said, these, these are your songs. This is your language. These are your stories. A lot, of, a lot of stories that we did not grow up hearing but belong to us uh, due to systems of oppression. We did not grow up hearing those stories, but they're ours. And I've embraced them and have used the hand drum 
In our culture, the hand drum represents the heartbeat of Mother Earth. And I was taken aback as a young woman whenever I first saw Purifay and witnessed her playing the drum. I was like, wow, there, a woman is playing the drum? Because I was so used to, to attending powwows and seeing the men gather around the grandfather drum. And so she empowered me in a way to stand up, to use my voice, and to, to be a voice for, for our people, our indigenous peoples all, all over Turtle Island, to say that we're still here, we're still thriving in North Carolina, and that we're gonna stand up, we're gonna stand up for our, our lands, we're gonna stand up and lift our voices for those broken treaties, we're gonna stand up and share our culture that we've been suppressed long enough and that we're no longer going to remain idle. And I think that's the, the, uh, the nucleus of this song, I Don't Know More. But it also rose from the First Nations people up in Canada and their fights for access to their own lands and clean water, just basic human rights. And this song is a call for all humanity in general to just wake up and realize the, uh, the destruction that we're doing to Mother Earth on a daily basis and just be conscious and try to make better decisions. I don't know more. Wait, oh, hey, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, hey, oh. Brothers and sisters, I don't know more. We walk in the light with our brothers and sisters. We stand and fight with a drum, a song, a prayer, this change of time. This is the true reckoning, the human awakening. Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know more. Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know more. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, wait, hey, oh, how it oh, we don't. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 oh, 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 Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know more. People come by the hundreds, sing and dance the streets of shopping malls to the capital and heart of Standing Rock. All over this Turtle Island, our presence will break the silence. Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know more. Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know more. Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, 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 oh, 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 hey, Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know more. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey, oh, 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 h
Hero, 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 hero. Together, brothers and sisters, I don't know much. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to welcome the band to the stage. Hey. It's about to be live. So when I left my tribal community for the first time at the age of 18, well, let, let me rephrase that. When I left for an extended period of time, uh, I grew up, you know, traveling and singing and uh, sort of being an ambassador or representative for my people, traveling to different conferences throughout North Carolina and throughout the country, and visiting other indigenous folks in, in uh, other tribal territories. But I left to go away to college at UNC Chapel Hill, and it was quite the experience, leaving home and venturing off to a campus with a little over 30,000 students with only 100 students at the time uh, identifying as indigenous and native. And my mother, she encouraged me to try and meet one new person each day on campus is what she said. And I tried my best, but as soon as I opened my mouth and they heard this southern dialect, even though it's right there in North Carolina, my dialect comes from my people down in Robinson County. It's very unique to us. And so I was met with questions like, what are you? I say, what, what do you mean, what am I? You know, what are you? you what's your background? What's your race? I'd say, I'm, I'm, I'm native, I'm Indian, I'm from, from uh, Robinson County. Which parent? Which, which one of your parents? I say, both of my parents, both of them are from, from that area. Okay, okay, what about your grandparents? Both sets of my grandparents are from that area on both sides. I was like, why, why are y'all asking me these questions? And they, it just wasn't enough for, for them. And, and I found myself having to, that, that's really where I began to have to prove my identity or defend my identity as an indigenous woman indigenous girl at the time, still living in North Carolina, even though it's where I live is only 90 minutes from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And so that's when I, you know, took to the drum and started writing songs. And this was the first original song that I wrote. And I wrote it for young girls from home, women from home who may have not, you know, who might have not have been able to to share their identity with people and, and speak on it, or they weren't educated on, on the culture. And then I thought about myself and my challenges there at UNC Chapel Hill. And then I thought about all women in society today and pressures from society or patriarchal society to act a certain way, to talk a certain way, to dress a certain way, think, you know, think certain ways or what we've been programmed to think. And that's how this song came about. It's a song that is meant to uplift women and young girls to remember that each one of us is beautiful and unique in our own ways and that we should celebrate our indivi individuality on our daily walks, brown skin. She walks around with a smile for the whole wide world to see. Inside. 
decide to scream and free yourself from strains of society. Brown skin, why do you hide the pain we did? Brown skin, brown skin. Day in, day out is the same, living by the standards of a male domain. She can't help but recognize the stairs Cause of who she's talking to Or the clothes she wears, yeah She holds her head up high For the whole wide world to see Inside to scream and free yourself From strains of society Brown skin Why do you hide the pain we hear? Brown skin My hunger like food, like a cake that I'm baking Takes time and patience, once it starts to rise Everybody wants a taste Why are you always up on the line, trying to play my face Like I ain't gonna make it People like you, that hold us back from getting snacks So we go through the same routine every day Trying to conjure like voodoo, who knew I'd do The extraordinary one, little lonely brown skin Little mama with the country ground Green sky independent, tell me you're feeling this Fire water, all the smoke and the evil Like a joker going wild trying to climb my people Poverty stricken, keep your head up Yeah, we fed up, it won't let up automatically or so It's a setup, living for paycheck a check Minimum wage from the state, don't spend it all in one place And if your belly aches, take a step back Baby, hone your skills, oh, what's happening? So go ahead and throw your hands up like a criminal The going gets stuck, you feel the need to surrender If I was sold on every single diss I'd marinate on hell and drive not to Stay why do you hide the pain we did? Brown skin, brown skin, brown skin. Why do you hide the pain we did? Brown skin. How long will you continue to pretend? Hero is the next song, and it was written after the passing of a young lady in Lumberton. Her name was Krista Dees, and she belonged to our tribal community. She was 19 years old, and uh, she died in a car accident. And she was taken from us way too soon.
And I went on our Facebook wall and read the different comments from her friends and family. You know how we do these days on uh, social media. We'll miss you, Krista. We can't wait to see your face again. And that got me to thinking about how at one point or another we're going to lose someone we love that's near and dear to our hearts. I lost my mother in 2017. And I, right now I like to think that she's sitting right there in, uh, in seat 106. But I wrote this song as a medicine song, a healing song. We've got Veterans Day coming up this weekend. And I want to also dedicate it to those who gave our li gave their lives for us, for our country. So any of you out there that are grieving the loss of a loved one, this song is for you. Take it, put it in your hearts, and carry it with you. Just like the first time we met 
I'm lucky, I see, I see your beautiful face, just as clear as day. I hear your sweet voice in the most angelic way. gonna hold you in my heart until my very end you are my hometown hero yes you were you are my hometown hometown hero Listening to well, I was I'm so thankful that I grew up listening to so many genres of music from my parents, soul music, uh, Otis Redding, Al Green, country music on 95.7 FM. That was the country station. Aretha Franklin was a, a huge influence on mine, along with uh, a huge influence on me along with Pura Faye and Celine Dion and Mariah Carey. And somebody said, you should sing country music. And I was like, I'm gonna never sing country music. I know I sound country, but I'll never sing it. And uh, here I am with a country song that I wanna share with y'all. It's called Giddy Up. I'll give you that, Giddy Up. That's, that's about as country as it gets for a title, ain't it? This is a brand new song. I said, hey, hey, what do you say? We play hooky today. Cares crying and whining can wait. Passion and action are calling your sweet name. I said, whoa, whoa, what do you know? Sun's out, go with the flow. All the haters and players can wait. We're burning rubber down the highway. So hop in my truck, let's try our luck. We get stuck Wind in her hair In the middle of nowhere With no care I just wanna say
Yeah, just trying to break these stereotypes one song at a time. Native sing country too. This next song, I hope to hear it in, in all of the dance halls all over the world. It's a sweet, uh, a bit of a love song. If, if you're already in love with someone or if you see that person across the, the floor and you've had your eyes on them all night, you just want to pull them close and dance. This song is called Stay. celebration for me. Uh, the fact that we're here. Uh, we'll be also playing at the Kennedy Center later tonight on the Millennium Stage at 6 p.m. If you're around town, tell your friends. Y'all come out if you're free. But today marks uh, three years and seven months since I had my second kidney transplant. Yeah. I always like to celebrate on the, on the ninth of, of every month. And uh, that was after, you know, I, I told you about my mother passing. She passed away due to cancer uh, back in 2017. 
And while she was going through her chemo treatments, I was going through uh, my dialysis treatments, was on dialysis for five years, and then I finally got the call that I, I might have a match. And so I received my transplant, and I've been feeling like a champ ever since, ever since then. But, needless to say, these past five to seven years, I've been through a bit of a time, a bit of a time, and that's to put it, put it lightly. And so this next song kind of encapsulates that. Hey, let me introduce the band. Look, on bass guitar, fresh from Canada, from Toronto, Gary Tiger, look at him, yeah. We got Andrew McKay on drums. Holding it down, super talented guy. We're gonna have to have to do a show where he's on on the keys, just as you know. He plays piano. He's a phenomenal singer as well. And yeah, uh, actually came up with the chords and the chord progression to that last song that we sang, "Stay." So we co-wrote that song together along with Mr. Derek Miller on guitar. Bit of a time. Go through them. 
And sometimes it just makes us want to grow wings and what? Fly away. We want to fly away just to a better space and time. And that's what this next song is about. I'm sharing a brand new material with you. We're currently working on my debut solo album and I'm super excited about it. And this is one of the songs on that upcoming album, Fly Away. <laughs> song to sing. It kind of reminds me of like a little bit of shout. Come on, man. And then uh, What's Going On by the Four Non Blondes. So, so many influences going on in here. Just to present and represent myself as a modern day native. This last song we're going to sing and perform is a song that I also want you to carry with you and use it during those times when you feel down, down, down in the dumps. And you gotta pull yourselves up by the what? Bootstraps, pull them up, and put one foot in front of the other and keep going. And I experienced that many times when, when my body just couldn't go. You had to have that backbone. And we've got it. Sometimes we just have to dig deep. 
This song was also inspired by the story of a legend around our homes, or my home down in Robinson County. And I'm sure there's plenty of articles held within these walls about that gentleman. Mr. Henry Barry Lowry, he was often referred to as a Tuscarora outlaw, but he was really a revolutionary. Around the times of the Civil War, when we had a Confederate home guard down there, trying to keep an eye on things, you know, make sure the Indians didn't get out of control. And Henry stood by in the distance as his father and his brother were executed by the Confederate Home Guard only after they were framed for stealing hams. And this is when they were rounding up our native men and trying to send them off to Wilmington, North Carolina to build Fort Fisher. And Henry stood up, he said, no, this is our home, this is our lands, we're not going anywhere. And he rebelled, right? He led a 10-year guerrilla warfare. He formed a gang called the Lowry Gang, and these times were known as the Lowry Wars, and I'm a descendant of his, and I'm just honored to, to be here to tell a story about having a backbone. I also mentioned in this song Dr. Martin Luther King and also one of the founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin. All of these men, in their own ways, in their own journeys, had plenty of backbone. No. There's no rest, there's no rest. I said there's no, there's no
again, Gary Tiger on the bass, Andrew McKay on the drums, Derek Miller on guitar. I'm Charlie Lowry, and we're at the Library of Congress. It's an honor. Thank you to the American Folk Life Center for having us. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Charlie Lowry and her fabulous band.